So YouTubers, Fortune Cookie 45LC coming to you from the hot lead zone. And today let's go to the range and take our Glock 20 that we just picked up and test fire it with two brands of ammo. The Bitterroot Valley 180 grain full metal jacket that's loaded to 10 millimeter velocity. And then the Load X, which is a commercial reloader using 180 grain metal plated bullets. And let's go ahead and take these two loads to the range and test them for accuracy and velocity and consistency. This is our Pro Chrono by Competition Electronics. Chronograph all set up on a tripod, lined up for us to shoot through. The Maglula magazine feeder works real well with a 10 millimeter round. I mean, it's kind of hard to kick. I'm sure it's a snubby. I kind of really makes loading the magazines easy. Now as for the chronograph, we got 933, 889, 918, 923, and 891. The average velocity of this 10 millimeter ammo is 911 feet per second out of the Glock 20, and the high was 933 feet per second, the low was 889, extreme spread of 44, standard deviation of 16. 20 from sandbags at 12 and a half yards, the first five shot group just get used to the trigger and the recoil and all that kind of thing. So we shot a second five shot group and that's what we got, five shots and that one that went to the left probably my fault just still getting used to the gun, but that gun is accurate. Four shots in the X-ring there. So here we are chronographing the Bitterroot Valley ammo, the 10 millimeter, 180 grain full metal jacket. Now that ammo is quite a bit more powerful, but it's not accurate. And that's a little disappointing. Four, that is a four and three quarter inch group at 12 and a half yards from sandbags. Now if that one were a flyer, then that's not too bad, but still unacceptable. Now here's the group, the second five shot group shot with that Bitterroot Valley ammo. and. That's about a three and a half inch group. And if you look at that one being a flyer, then that's not too bad, but still unacceptable. So that Bitterroot Valley ammo, 1050, 1028, 1031, 1050, 1045, 1030, 1048, 1031, 1037, and 1037. High of 1050, low of 1028, average of 1038, extreme spread of 22, standard deviation of 8. That is actually pretty consistent ammo.
so YouTubers, give that bitterroot ammo a little bit more of a chance. Shot another five shot group on sandbag rest. And the upper left target is those five shots. That's about a four and a half inch group. That might even be a five inch group. We'll have a look closer, but uh, that Bitterroot Valley ammo is uh, not accurate in the Glock 20, at least in my Glock 20. Uh, the Bitterroot Valley ammo uses Starline brass, and with the little higher pressure loadings, there still isn't a lot of explosion near the case head. No smiles, no Glock smiles, and we like that. There is some definite bulge in the body of the case, but that's because of the loose chamber, and that will resize down nicely, so we're not concerned about that. That's a 45 case. We don't want that. Yeah, but, but here, <laughs> here's an example of a 45 case fired by from another gun. This is not a Glock. You can see the round firing pin strike. And you see there's no smiles and no expansion of the body of the case. Of course, 45 round is lower pressure anyway at 20,000 PSI. This is generating somewhere around 37,000 PSI. And if you don't get a lot of smiling with this brass, that's a good sign. We're going to look forward to reloading this. So YouTubers, we're back from the range. And what we found out was that the Glock 20 didn't shoot this ammo very well. Well... The problem is that this ammo here, the Bitterroot Valley ammo, happened to be very consistent. 10 shot average only had a maximum deviation of 22 feet per second and a standard deviation of 8. This ammo is pretty consistent. So how come it didn't shoot very well? And then this is not as consistent ammo. The dispersion was higher, but yet it shot very nice groups. Well, I measured the bullets here, they're full metal jacket bullets, and they measure .396. And these are plated bullets, and they measure .3975. So these are smaller, plus the full metal jacket is a harder jacket. So the bullets did not obturate as well to fill the but We barrel. haven't slugged the barrel of the G20 yet, but apparently... The slightly larger bullet plus the softer plating fills the grooves and shoots better. Most of the bullets that we buy in 10 millimeter caliber are 0 .400 inch. So apparently if we go with 0 .400 inch bullets, we may get very good performance. Certainly this with a 0.3975 and soft can give us good performance, but this in .396 and hard jacket won't get us there. YouTubers out there, take care, and uh, we'll do some reloads with a G20 with .400 caliber bullets and see how they do.